subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Atiang Betty, your host tonight. This is our program, Moment of Truth, and it's Quakers Assembly International. I want to thank you all for viewing us in the house. I'm not alone. I'm here with one handsome gentleman and three beautiful ladies who are going to introduce themselves. I'll start with the lady on my left. Hello everyone, you're welcome. My name is Darling Mary Frosty. Shalom. And um, Godfrey Gucci, love you. You are blessed. And I'm called Dr. Stanius J. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Stay Breast. And I'm Miss Mutoni. I love you all and be blessed. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. We have a very interesting topic that we are going to discuss about. Our theme tonight is the cost of ignorance. And we are going to have, take it from the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. We are going to discuss a lot. Be blessed and continue viewing us. You're going to learn out of this. So I'll come back to my handsome gentleman and the three beautiful ladies who are going to give us different views on this theme of ours today. So Mr. Oguti, what do you have to say about our theme tonight? Uh, thank you, my dear host. I I can't appreciate you enough just by using the word, but I think uh, I need to do something more. Okay. But I first request you to allow me also welcome these viewers. You know, it, it's, uh, it's not an easy flight for us here in Uganda. Uh, everyone is crying of data. I and uh, mostly people call it M visa. So I don't know when, 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 when you buy GB what you call it, but uh, people cry so much of uh, data. That is so funny. Yes. Mm. So uh, I want to thank you very much for giving me this opportunity yeah. to serve together with you. Thank you. Uh, the topic of your uh, of the day, I've loved it. Thank you. Because as as Quakers Assembly International, this is actually what you want people to know. We don't want people to get lost on the way really when they are still in their journey of salvation. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you, our dear viewers and our listeners, that uh, you've chosen the right channel to view. Thank you for live streaming us. We love you. And here now, Quakers, we are ready to introduce it yourself and make your joy complete. We don't want you to get lost on the way. My dear host, because what did you say is the theme? All right, our theme tonight is the cost of ignorance. Yes. So I think briefly we can say something, give a brief uh, about what you understand about the cost of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that our viewers can, yeah, they can get something out of it because we might be knowing what it means, but someone who is out, outside there who is viewing us might not have a clue about it. So we can, any of us can give us a, a, a picture of what it really means to bring it out so that everyone who is viewing us may be able to understand our theme today in a very, very simple introduction. Okay, I would do give opportunity to one of my best, okay. the one I trust. I believe. Actually, she she's in my right. <laughs> you know that, you, you know what that means I in believe, the Lord. I do. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, thank Can you, you so take much. Us ahead? Yeah, I'm so glad to be with you once again. As I say, my name is Dalit Frosty Mary. Right from the, the topic, the cost of, of ignorance, I want us to first start with knowing what cost is. Okay, that is very nice. To my own understanding, cost is, um, it means weight of something. Because mm -hmm. I don't want someone to be there pondering about, like, we are saying cost and the people are they're just concentrating on ignorance. Yeah. Cost is weight of something. And now if we bring ignorance in it, 
ignorance is when someone lacks knowledge about something. True. Because mm -hmm. I may be knowing, let me say, I may be knowing what food is. That is something simple for everyone. Mm -hmm. But then ignorance can also mean not knowing the real depth of what food is. So yes. that's what we are talking about. Cost of ignorance. Mm -hmm. We are going into the depth in it. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm so happy about the way she is defining the cost of ignorance. I believe someone who is outside there, you won't skip out the line. And I believe you have got something out of the explanation she has given us. Any, 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 other, any other person who has a different definition? Or you want to top up something on what she has said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I do have okay. a point. All right. Um, thank you once again, my dear host. You're welcome. I am Eunice for people who don't get my mail. Uh, to add on what she said, what mm -hmm. Mary said, uh, to, to me, I think we need to really get to know what ignorance is. It's like uh, having something, but then you do not know the use of that thing that you are having. Okay. Like you don't have any clue, you do not have any idea of what you're having. Uh, you could be having money, but mm -hmm. you are ignorant of what to use it for. Yes. Yeah, so if you do not know, then you will not be in position to use that money to say maybe when you're sick, I can use this money to buy medicine mm -hmm. for myself. Yes. So if you really don't have an idea about something, mm -hmm. then that it will cost you a lot. Like you can even just die without knowing. Uh, so it's it's even written in the Bible. As we go on, we are going to get scriptures that can define that better. Uh, but as for now, I think I give back the microphone to you. Thank you so much, Eunice. That is another good definition. I think like someone who has a talent of seeing, you can be there, you know how to sing, mm -hmm. but then you don't know how to utilize it. Yeah. You just sit down on your talent, not knowing that when you wake up one morning and you start utilizing it, you can Money. preach outside there yeah. using your voice. Mm -hmm. You know, God blesses us with different talents. You can have a good voice, you can dance for the Lord, but if you do not, if you don't have that knowledge that, yes, I can do this, it will skip, it will skip you. So it is good to always have knowledge about something. Not so good, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, based on what uh, my left and right has said. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think uh, they have paved way for us. Uh, my sweetheart, are you ready? <laughs> that, that our thing is I believe she's the most beautiful lady in the house because she's being called the sweetheart. Well, okay, I'm you ready. Can... I'm ready. I'm ready with that okay. scripture. Okay, and you yeah. give us the theme scripture. Our theme scripture today is uh, from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. Give us in KJV first. Uh, yes, dear viewers, we really love you, and that's why uh, our host here have thought of coming up with this uh, topic, that uh, we don't want you to live a life that you have something within you, as she has said, according to her definition of ignorance, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you still look for it. You have something. As he said, we may, you may have water, mm. and the water is yours, like me now, mm. but I'm thirsty. Mm. Then I, 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 the only knowledge that I have is that uh, I need maybe to uh, pass some through somebody mm. and in order for me to take this water. When the person that I'm going to pass through actually has given me this water to take. You already have the water. I already already have the water, but I'm still requesting the well, same person who has given me this water, to yeah, to, to, to tell, tell you what to do with your water. Can't imagine. Mm. Yet do you feeling know, thirsty. Do, do you know what that means? Oh my God, that is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, our reading today from the version of KJB it yes. reads, Therefore my people are gone into captivity mm -hmm. because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Uh, our dear viewers and listeners, I uh, will not forget and get tired for thanking you for choosing to live stream us. 
Thank you very much. We really appreciate you. Now, the number one reason why people are perishing, the Bible is telling us here that uh, now my people go into captive. My people are now perishing, depends on the version that you are using. My people are now destroyed mm -hmm. because they lack no knowledge. knowledge. Not, why this knowledge is so dangerous that if you don't have your, you, you end up uh, being taken into captive, being destroyed, being all sorts of uh, suffering that your flesh may encounter. Mm -hmm. The knowledge that we are talking about here is not any other knowledge. This is not the knowledge that we say you inquire maybe from school, from your education. No, we are talking about uh, being ignorant about what God, who created the whole universe, has in love given to us and displayed it to us publicly in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this is the knowledge that if you don't have it, it you will actually die. The end of it. God, having loved the world, mm. has given us our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, for me, who is born again, mm. is my Lord. Actually, he is my personal king. I see him as my personal king. Mm. So that's the way I see him. So whatever I, I deal with him, I know this is my king. Mm. Not just I don't have just a knowledge of saying he's a savior. Yes, he's a savior. But he goes beyond that. Mm. He is our very life being displayed. If we want to know about our life, as born again. Actually, if you want to know about your life as a child of God, I don't know whether you're born again or not, my dear brother, but uh, one thing I want to make, I want to let you know is that uh, if you want to know about yourself, there is only one place that you can go, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior, this is your right time. This is the time for you to know yourself. This is the time for you to set yourself free from captive. Mm. You have to have the knowledge of Christ as your very life. You need to go beyond knowing him as the Savior. Mm. Remember how we were created. The Bible reports that uh, in the beginning, God said that let us make man who were the us. God was the one speaking, mm -hmm. but he, he said let us. That means there were like at least three or two of them. Mm -hmm. And trust me, there were the Holy Spirit, Father and the Son mm -hmm. speaking to one another. Mm -hmm. So he said let us now make man in our own image. Mm -hmm. Our dear viewers, you are created in God's image. own image. image. You are God's image. Actually, if God wants a mirror, he comes to my host here, Betty. Oh. And then he looks at Bera and he says, this, this, the way, the, this is the way I look like. True. Yeah. So it, it doesn't go to our physical mirror. Now what do we do? If we also want to know ourselves, where is our mirror? We look at God. Yes. We look at God. Yeah. So the way God is, that's yeah. how we are. Sure. How is God, my dear? How is, how is God? You can see now, if we are lacking this piece of information about ourselves, about how we look, do you know what we are going to do? Now this is the cost. We shall continue looking for who we are. And then even in a song, we sing a song asking ourselves, who am I? You get it? Eh? You are the singers, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, can, I can only back up. Oh you get it. So we, we, we find ourselves asking ourselves, mm. who am I? Okay. God even has blessed you and then again, uh, you say, but who am, who am I? You get it. You're overwhelmed because you don't know yourself that this is your portion that they have just given that to you. Lack so lack of knowledge will cause you to lose many things. And it will, 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 will lead you to not enjoy the life in Christ. Mm. Your very life. Mm. The second audition of you, that's how I, now I, I bring it. Mm. We had our, the way we used to know ourselves mm. before coming to Christ. Our viewers, there is a way you know yourself before you come to Christ. 
we are not religious. Mm -hmm. We are not religious, but we are trying to be open. But we want to let you know that uh, if actually you don't have Christ in yourself, mm -hmm. my dear, you are already in captive. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that if you shall know the Son, the Son shall set you free, free. indeed. Mm -hmm. You may think you are free, but you, are, you have never been free if you don't have Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in you. Sure. My dear, as if I'm taking you. The way you're looking at me. <laughs> Let me take my water. Praise Jesus. Yes. I've just loved this part. He's saying that, that knowing Christ beyond, knowing Jesus beyond, like yes, having yes. this relationship, not just because he's your creator. You mm -hmm. get it? It's like you, you have to get, you have to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example of a father. You can't tell me that you are a son or a yes. daughter to your father. And you come and ask him for money, then he will give you a stone. It can't be. No. Now no. just assume that you've given God that opportunity, that like that closeness. You mm. call him a friend. Yes. Let's give a look at Moses. Moses used to talk to God and God responds. Mm. God talks to Moses and Moses also does what? They had that relationship. But Actually, let me call it fellowship. But yes, it is a fellowship. Mm. But you know what? Uh, this is the, the, what people missed. Actually, the problem came all the way from those people. Under Moses, yeah. they are the one who actually ask uh, Moses to tell God that they no longer want uh, <laughs> them, him to speak with them direct. Mm -hmm. They wanted the mediator. So we have reached a point where in everything we are doing, we need a kayungrizi. We call yes. it in our local language kayungrizi here. Yeah. We need someone to mediate for us in everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Actually, you can get that in John, first John, yes. John chapter one verse mm -hmm. two. You can get that whole story yes. from someone who is. Who is wondering about where they're getting the scriptures from? Yo. I'm giving another example. Mm. Let's take a look about um, Lazarus. Mm. Lazarus was a very good friend of Jesus, mm -hmm. but he didn't know the, the treasure he had. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me say he had gold or diamond, but he didn't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. I can't like I can't be Lazarus and I accept death. No. Mm -hmm. If I were Lazarus, just touching made on Jesus' garment like this, like this. I can't accept dying. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. So let's not have this thing of ignorance in our mind. We should put our minds focus and know what we have already. It's like having this book and I'm read this Bible and I'm already begging. Can you help me with your Bible? And yet it's I really have it. Why? Because I like it. I love I love knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get? Mm. So if if you stay having ignorance in your mind, you still keep on looking looking for what you already have. Uh, uh, we had uh, last time uh, a pastor here mm. who gave us a scenario of his own mother that the mother had grown old has aged a bit mm. so it reaches the point that the mother can get a broom and put here and, uh, <laughs> and put here eh? and then again looks for it and started gaining these ones here <laughs> the young ones asking she has it already. yes so this is the same thing that now the believers and the rest of the people in the world are looking for. Mm -hmm. they, th they, they, they look for a better life. Mm -hmm. They want to be blessed. Mm -hmm. But they don't know that the only one way for you to be blessed, the only way, one way for you to be well off, whether material or spiritually, mm -hmm. is by Jesus. having a personal relationship with our Christ. Father. Amen. It's by having that. Mm -hmm. So if you are there and you had got a personal relationship with the father now this is what you need to know that you have it all right now mm. you have it all right now you know the the, the time for such is over mm. the only one thing you have is to use jesus's faith that he has given us remember faith is a gift mm. we don't invent faith mm. because faith is someone so we use jesus's faith to see everything that uh that we need to, to, to have in this life. Because uh, we as human beings, we so much move with material world. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, I, I want us to know that uh, whatever we want, we desire in life, we've got it already. Mm -hmm. My brother, if you are, are born again, where the future that you are looking for, you are already in that future. The Bible tells us that, uh, that God has blessed us with everything that we need mm. in life. And actually, it has seated us together 
in heavenly places mm. together with Christ. Mm. That is if you read your Ephesians uh, 2 and verse uh, 6. That we are already seated in heavenly places. But you find that the born again, right now, um, uh, let me first talk to my fellow born again. Mm. That right now, the fellow born again, they are busy working for heavens. Of which this is the heaven that they are already seated in. We are already at the throne together with our Lord. Mm. 